Hey, boutique owner or other fashion-related e-commerce friends. <laughs> that was a mouthful. But um, I have a quick little website optimization tip for you. This is one of our most common requests is to offer a um, shop by size drop down menu so the end result is going to look like -na 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 -na. right okay the internet anyway um okay so the end result that we're going for here is this drop down um, I recommend you could have like a sizing guidelines in this drop down as well. It's just a good place for it, but, um, or meet the models or both ideally on the same page, really anything that's going to make it easier for your customer to know what size to get and what's in stock in their size. So <clears throat> the idea is that you will have all the sizes that you carry. And if somebody clicks on, um, large, they're going to see only what's in stock right now in size large. Um, so um, how you're going to do this is you are just going to go to your collections and you're going to create a collection for each size. Um, and how they're going to look is the two most important rules are these first two, but I, I'm glad that, um, I'm using this account as a, as a model because I want to explain these other ones. So when you create a collection, you can either create a um, manual or automated collection. So actually, let me go back for a second just in case you don't know these details. So when you create a collection, all you really have to do is uh, name it and then pick whether you want it manual or automated. Now, if your collection is already manual, you can't change it to automated later um, and vice versa. So you have to start it at automated. And for these sizing collections in particular, they have to be automated because you need rules. Um, so <clears throat> you would um, set up your collection and then let me show you this large again um, as the example okay so you're gonna want to do um, variants title starts with and then like whatever your sizing is um, and make sure that this is consistent so this can get I mean for small medium large extra large 1x 2x 3x it's a little more straightforward but for example um, it may mean that you need to start using 3x all the time instead of extra, extra, extra large. Like you just need to be really consistent there. And if you're trying to do this with shoes or jeans, it's, you know, it's a little trickier, um, but it is possible. You just have to play around with the rules because there's also, there's starts with, there's ends with, um, contains. So play around so that it works for you. Because for example, um, uh, Let's see. <clears throat> we had done this for a client as well. Um, so just all of the shoe sizes, for example. And this was tricky because there was 5 and 5.5. .5, so we couldn't do starts with. Um, we had to play around with those rules to get it to work, basically. Um, but, oh, and this was changed. Let's see. Kids. Oh, sizes there. Yeah. Anyway. Um in other words, there's a lot of different ways you can use this, but this is, uh, I'm just going to go over how to do the basic small, medium, large, et cetera. Anyway, so variance title starts with large. And then the other rule that you absolutely need is inventory stock is greater than zero. So those two rules are enough. However, sometimes you're going to pull in things that shouldn't be in there. So variance title starts with L. Um, <clears throat> there could be a color uh or a pattern like okay leopard so if the variance title started with leopard and it was in stock that could also show up here even though it wasn't a size large so you just want to think about if there are any rules that you need to add because again what what we do here is we make sure that whatever shows up in this collection is going to match all of these conditions so it has to start with l it has to be in stock and it can't be you know, X, Y, Z. So I recommend doing product title does not contain and whatever the thing is. So this Desmoid was, um, I had this rare Desmoid tumor and I was selling like awareness gear. Um, and I was selling, it was shirts that were in so many different colors that I added. I just want to make sure none of that ever showed up in these boutique collections basically. 
Um, and then obviously I was having some trouble with like, oh, you know, the hair ties was probably like the lavender something hair ties. So think about, you can either do this now when you set it up and just think about like proactively, or once you're done with your collections, you can check on your collections and just see if anything is showing up that shouldn't be. And then, um, you know, add some conditions so that those are not anymore. Um, okay. So once you have all your collections made, um, then you are going to set up, set this up on your menu. So you're going to go to navigation and you are going to, um, go to your main menu and create a shop by size and just have the drop down. Now, in case you aren't familiar with menus, um, it's pretty easy. You just, um, you would just say shop by size and I would have this one linked to all products. Oops. Or to sizing guidelines. And you could even make sizing guidelines a fancier page and like, um, oh, now I'm just not paying attention. Hold on a second. All products. Okay. Um, you could even make it a fancier page where you have like, you know, your new arrivals and links to all the sizes and sizing guidelines. There's definitely a lot of different things you can do there, but, um, anyway, so you add your main, your main link. That's going to be your like main, uh, menu link. And then you're going to just go in and add all the sizes. So, and then this, you're just going to drag under. Oops. Okay. So that this is the parent menu basically. And this is the child, if you want to think of it that way. And then you're just going to add here the rest of those. And then you have your shot by size. So I'm going to delete that because I already had it up here, but, um, that's it. So that is all you got to do. <laughs> um, let me know if you have any questions specifically about this. And also let me know if you have any requests of other things that you would like to learn how to do. And don't forget that we, if you like this tutorial, um, I'm very, I just love being really, really straightforward and showing you guys the easiest way to do things and just explaining in a way that hopefully feels like English, even if tech isn't your thing. Um, but of course we love to help our clients one-on-one -on -one really optimize every aspect of their website and get it just right. Um, or we have the workshop. So, um, and the workshop is full of like over 40 tutorials, way longer than this one too, about all the little things that you would want to know about, you know, branding design and your Shopify website, even your comment sold web store and even MailChimp emails. So, um, and that includes unlimited, you know, support in our Facebook group. So, um, just a little shameless plug there for all of that. But anyway, again, let me know if you have any questions, um, or if you want to chat about working one-on-one. -on -one.